Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as ForumBX257, and I'm here to bring you another Vintage G.I. Joe toy review. And today I have the 1985 Sears Exclusive Sentry and Missile System, or SMS for short. And here is the box for the SMS. Mine is obviously a Canadian version with the English and French on here. Uh, for the US versions, however, under the logo there would have been a subtitle saying either a Crimson Guard weapon or a Co uh, Cobra Command weapon. So the US has a, has a variant for this box. It also has the uh, Sears logo on the bottom there. I think this is the first time that uh, they've done that for the exclusives. And here is the SMS. Now, as you can see, it's just a Hiss tank with an MMS redone in Crimson Guard colors. I'll start off with the, the Sentry first. There's, there, it, there were no, no other differences between this and the original Hiss tank. Still the same turning turret, elevating guns. Opening driver canopy, the two pegs at the back, and of course the hidden dumbbell wheels for the fake treads. And here is the Cobra missile system. Of course, it is a direct recast of the 1982 MMS. It still has its Fold down legs, its pop out stand, stand, the computer box, which was right in between the trailer, and come out. And now either Tomax or Zaymot or one of the Crimson Guards can now operate the Cobra missile system. Well, I suppose one could argue that uh, red is a bit garish on the battlefield, but surrounded by, or, or flanked by two more black his tanks, it doesn't look too bad as a command vehicle or a special vehicle, especially when it is carrying an extra load. I suppose you also have to admit, even the regular black Hiss tank doesn't look too shabby with the extra burst of red at the back. Before I sign off, I'd like to mention a couple of things. Hasbro reissued the red Hiss tank a couple of times. I think uh, one of the last times I can recall is the Valor vs. Venom 
Crimson Sabotage team. Hope I'm getting that right. And for this, the Rise of Cobra um, Walmart exclusive heat seek uh, system. However, if you're looking for the originals, I'm fairly certain the copyright information would have had to have been changed. The copyright on this is the same as the original uh, his tank, and that's copyright 1983, Hasbro Industries Incorporated, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And for this, the information is the same as the MMS, and it reads 1982, Hasbro Industries Incorporated, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And I'm fairly certain um, any newer version would have had to have had the country of origin either blanked out or replaced with Made in China. I don't think Hasbro uh, can retain, retain that on the molds, the Pawtucket Rhode Island part. Uh, that leads me to something which I don't normally discuss, and that is, of course, value. Uh, I'm not sure if the reissue of both of these now have affected the loose value of these uh, original SMSs. Uh, I would assume so. However, if people are discerning and they know what to look for, like the copyright information, or if they're interested in, let's say, blueprints and instruction sheets to go along with them, I don't, I don't see any harm in having um, maybe a combination of the newer sets just so that you can fill in your collection. And speaking of the blueprints, mine seem to have a rather large mistake on them. For the Cobra Sentry, which is the his portion of the SMS, all the information listed here is actually for the missile system. The missile system actually does have its own a, uh, information on here, it's just duplicated onto here replacing what should have been the his tanks uh, specs. I'm not sure if that's just my Canadian uh, blueprints and instructions or whether that was also on the US versions, I don't really know. Well, that's it for now and thank you for watching and I'll make another vintage G.I. Joe toy review real soon.